If, a, if another hoe look me in my face and say, what's up? I'm gonna say, what's down? And get around, clown. Before NLE Choppa would turn down a $3 million record deal at just 16 years old. Before he would clock in a million followers on Instagram and over 400,000 subscribers on YouTube at the time of this recording. Before Choppa got a call from the 5-0 telling him that he can't post any more photos or videos with him sporting guns. The police called me, my mother, and my whole family. I don't know how they got, you know what I'm saying, our numbers, but they call every one of us. Before he would drop the song Shot of Flow, which currently has over 34 million views on YouTube, and before he would get cosigns from Meek Mill, LeBron James, Birdman, and apparently Stevie Wonder. NLE Chop has accomplished more at 16 than most people could dream of doing in a lifetime but he did it on his own terms. After his song blew up online, he started receiving offers from record labels for millions of dollars. But Choppa, he decided to do something that caught a lot of people off guard. He turned down the M's and signed a distribution deal instead, where he still owns his own music. The kid must be paying attention to what's going on with Lil Uzi. Hey Lil Uzi, come back to music. Growing up, Choppa was actually a really good basketball player, and we have some old footage of him balling to show you later in this video. And although he won't be waiting around for any basketball scholarships, well, Choppa actually wants to attend college one day. Place your guesses in the comments down below on what he wants to major in. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Michael McCrudden taking you through the life and career of NLE Choppa prior to fame. Here for you, of course, on Before They Are Famous. Now this has been one of the most requested videos for me to get done this year. We've recently covered Lil Nas X and I did a video on the cast of the Avengers. You can check those out later. And this video was brought to you by our good friends over at Candy Bets. All right, let's get into this video. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom. NLE Choppa was born Brayson Potts on November 1st, 2002, on the east side of Memphis, Tennessee. When speaking about his hometown, well, he told all hip hop. I ain't gonna lie, Memphis is just starting to get on the map a little bit from where it was a year ago. Because, you know, different artists are paving the way for the people that's coming up. A lot of talent coming out of Memphis. Shout out to Drake. Drake really helped it. Drake has been spotted in Memphis during the video for Worst Behavior and Look Alive with Blockboy JB and he reps Memphis as a second home. The same place his dad was born and he lived for much of Drake's childhood. So, it makes sense. Chappa said that although his childhood in Memphis was rough, everyone he knows has a lot of energy and they've always been dancing and having fun. We hear this song, we, you know what I'm saying, we got dances, we do, it's just Memphis. Chapa's mom was a businesswoman and taught him about entrepreneurship from an early age. She seems to be a really important part of Chapa's life, and he wrote a song dedicated to her over Tupac's Dear Mama instrumental, where he says, You're my presence, you're my queen, you're my everything. No one can interfere or get in between. She later became his manager, but it seems like she doesn't care about the fame, because she'll still do this if he gets into trouble. What's the clouds on? No. In March of 2014, Choppa's mom appeared on her local news after an unidentified suspect broke into her BMW while it was parked in her driveway. Miss Potts, well, she had this to say. I was crying. I was bawling and I actually hurt my hand because I hit the door. Don't take it for granted. Lock your doors. And as for the thief. What was you thinking? Why would you steal somebody else's car? You need a ride, you could have rung the doorbell. We could have called you a cab. Chapa's first love growing up was basketball. He loved to play as much as he could. And he looked up to Kobe Bryant because of his work ethic. Now Chapa took some of that work ethic and he applied it to his music career later on. Now Chapa played ball for his high school team and they put up some numbers, but he says he was always getting into too much trouble to really focus on becoming an athlete. We found this old video of him playing point guard and the kid, well, he was pretty good. Apparently he even took karate lessons at one point. Now he's also a video game fan and while he loves 2K, he says the game also makes him pretty angry. At 14 years old, Chapa began to freestyle with his friends, but a year later he decided to take music more seriously. Now everyone around Chapa was making music from his friends to his neighbors, so one day Chapa he decided he needed to record himself too. He went to the studio and says from there, well it was a rap. 
no pun intended. He attended Cordova High School where he started to take rap more seriously. He says in terms of school, he was always a smart kid, but was getting into too much trouble to get his grades right. When you get in trouble, you just can't make the right grades that you wanna make. Yeah. In terms of his musical influences, well, Chop is a really big fan of Bob Marley and claims he is the only person that he listens to on a regular basis. But in terms of rap, well, Chop, he grew up listening to Lil Wayne, later becoming influenced by Meek Mill, Lil Durk, and NBA Youngboy. Now, Chop, he's also been compared to Youngboy quite often. He told Double XL, it's so annoying. They say NBA young boy. They say I look like him, sound like him, stand like him, dress like him. They say my hair is like his. Everything around me is compared to young boy. It is kind of an elephant in the room situation. Anyway. Now, before becoming NLE Choppa, he was actually going by the rap name YNR Choppa, and he has a few songs up on YouTube by the same name. Now, he released songs called Through the Rain, Getting Money, and No Love Anthem onto his YouTube page. None of them getting too much traction at first. His YNR Choppa page only has 438 subscribers as of today. Choppa is also known as Baby Mexico, and while he hasn't said exactly why he's called that, on a song letter to Mama, he stated, Remember that day we went to Mexico when I was little? Unforgettable. Kinda had me thinking I was Mexican. My complexion, it had me guessing. So maybe that trip across the border is where he got the nickname originally. <laughs> His SoundCloud still exists under that name, but it only has 207 followers before he abandoned it. He later switched his name to NLE Choppa, NLE, it stands for No Love Entertainment. He told Hip Hop DX in an interview, just showing no love, took that part of myself and turned it into a brand. Choppa, just the name people back home call me. The first song to gain some online buzz under his new name was his hit song, No Love Anthem. He would rap with his friends as part of the Shotta family and they released their No Chorus series onto YouTube, shooting official video for the later songs in the series. Now it was the video's third installment, No Chorus Part 3, that really started gaining some traction online. It was Choppa's verse that stood out and had people talking about this kid locally. Choppa had a local fan base from his music that was sitting around 30,000 followers. He said he would also do some stupid stuff online to get followers at the time, and it was working. He has since deleted most of his old posts, but I got a feeling this is where the guns came into play. He's 16, he has more guns than the US Army. Why, why does, why does Chopper have so many guns? You know what I'm saying? Why is this? He's 16. Hey, bro, if you keep doing this, I might have to arrest your mom. It was the song Shot of Flow that truly took him to the next level. At first, he freestyled to the beat in the car, but then he recorded the official version and shot a video for it. The song gained a lot of online popularity through dance apps like Dub Smash, as well as a lot of YouTube reaction videos for the song. And the official video will quickly garner 10 million views within less than a month of its release. Really? I just wanted to make a song that was just beyond turn, you know what I'm saying? But I wanted to keep it like real Memphis. By his 16th birthday, Choppa already had millions of views on YouTube and had made back the cost of the music video fivefold. Now when I turned 16, I actually drove my mom's car through the garage door and I had to get my first job at a carpet store. Can't imagine what it feels to be Choppa. The opposite of... Now while the song was taking off, Choppa had some backlash because in his original video, well, there were a lot of guns, he stated. That's just how life is in Memphis. I wasn't like, yeah, I'm gonna put these guns in this video to send a warning to so-and-so. Wasn't nothing like that. That's just everyday life where I'm from. I'm just showing the home I know. He told allhiphop.com that he wanted to make the video as Memphis as he could, from the dances to the haircuts. Chapa says that moving forward though, he wants to put a lot of thought into his videos and do things that are more creative. He says no more guns and for good reason, the local police, they're onto him, and it ain't necessarily good for business. I wanna have the endorsements. I wanna be able to work with companies, big companies. Choppa began playing in front of high school crowds who were screaming his lyrics. He told Hip Hop DX, I don't really have no prep, I just grab the mic and go. It's a really good feeling, especially when the crowd knows the lyrics and stuff. When they're not just watching, but they actually like turning up with me, keeps me kinda energized through the show. He told Double XL that when he performed at Whitehaven High School, he felt like NBA Youngboy and Michael Jackson at the same time. Now after the show, one girl, she tried to break his car window just to touch him. And another girl, she even asked him to sign her chest. Yeah, that's when you know you've made it. Now we're gonna get into more of this come up story, but for now, it looks like it's getting a little smoky in here. You've all heard of candy pens, right? 
Well, if the name doesn't ring a bell, I got a good feeling you've seen them before. Now, Candy Pens was named Best Vaporizer of 2018 by High Times due to its combination of popular technology and flashy design. And Candy Pens, well, they've quickly become the go-to choice for vaping in the hip-hop and rap community. They've got some co-signs from DJ Khaled, Fatboy SSE, Young MA, and Amber Rose. Even the one and only ASAP Rocky, yeah. He's got his own signature line called the Flacco Jody Collection. Now Candy Pens has actually made me their YouTube ambassador, the one and only, and they've given me the ability to get you 25% off your entire order. Yeah, there's a link down below. Also use the promo code BTWF25, get some money back, enjoy your vaping. Remember Candy Pens are for those 18 years and older. All the fanfare and the attention was overwhelming for Choppa and he couldn't believe it at the time. After the song blew up, he began getting homeschooled because he was on the road so much and he wanted to keep focused on the future. With all of these new eyes on him, some of these people included record executives. Now Choppa, he sat down with every label from Republic to Interscope and was involved in a bidding war that reportedly went as high as $3 million. Instead of signing to one of these labels, well he decided to opt for a different route. He turned down the $3 million deal and decided to remain independent so that he could own his masters. He signed a distribution deal with United Masters while keeping ownership of his songs. The move was an unprecedented one, especially for a young artist who was just starting out. United Masters is a company owned by hip hop legend Steve Stout. Now Stout's assistant named KB hit up Choppa 10 times before Choppa replied to his request for a meeting. After they finally met, well, he said that everything started to click and they inked the distribution deal. While speaking to The Breakfast Club, Will Choppa said, I think a lot of rappers are thinking short term, but long term, they're not making no money off the song because at the end of the day, the label owns the song. But if you own your music, it's your song. You're making money off it. He said that the decision wasn't too hard because of his belief in himself and his work. Stout told Billboard, record companies are calling the guy and offering a bunch of money. Here's the issue. He's already just seen. With him owning the rights and us doing distribution, he's earning money on Spotify and Apple Music and his song is growing on YouTube. What does he need a record company to do? And according to online reports, he's already made 300K from his music alone, which is close to the average advance money that a label will give you to make your album, but that you have to recruit through, you know, record sales. So it looks like the independent route is already working for Choppa. And Choppa is also building his own record company called No Love Entertainment, and he told Billboard, I want to be able to have my own label so I can build something from the ground up. In 10 years, I want to look back and think, I created something big. He wants to build something not only for himself, but for his family too. Now, Choppa told Genius that with his first big check for music, he wants to invest in real estate and to own his own shoe company. He stated, everybody needs shoes and everybody needs a house. Throw in a barber shop and this kid's got it all figured out. Now, Choppa also says that he wants to give back with his success. I really just like to see people being the best they can be. I feel like I got a blessing and that it's up to me to share that blessing with the world any way I can with other people less fortunate than me. In terms of his circle, well, Choppa, he's kept it small. He has the same people around him who he came up with and he says there is no need to add more people for right now. But people from outside of his circle are definitely recognizing him. He said that he's talked to Meek Mill, J. Cole, and even LeBron James. Okay, I've been in his DMs, he hit me back, but nothing like LeBron. I mean, I'm, you know. Bro, he's like, you remind me, of, you remind me of me. He said, when I was young and, they, and when Reebok offered me about 10 million, and I told him no. As for the future, well, he said that he eventually wants to move to either Atlanta or Florida. Now, Chop is looking forward to giving back to his community and eventually says he wants to go to college so that he can study business. There's your answer to that question off the top. As for the rest of the story, well, I guess we'll have to wait and see because this is before they're famous. Now, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, be sure to do so right now and turn on your post notifications so you do not miss a single upload. Also, be sure to uh, check out our other videos we've handpicked for you. Be sure to check out Candy Pens. A link is down below. I'll see you guys in another video. Boom! Ow, that one hurt.